beautiful, blessed family. I just wanted to take an opportunity to reflect on the amount of lives that have been lost lately, particularly right now, the loss of Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter, and the other lives that were lost in the helicopter crash that happened a couple days ago. Our Heavenly Father has led me to understand and a few of us to understand that we are in a period of shaking, a sobering, time of sobering, a time of reflection. No matter who we are, gender, religion, ethnic background, this has touched a lot of people. Like, I just feel, I just seen the spiritual realm that Kobe was selected because the, 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 it was kind of known that if his life was taken, that people would stop and ponder and think, wow, life is not a guarantee. Old age is not a guarantee. As nice and as kind and as generous and as loving that Kobe was to his family, as dedicated as he was to his craft, his life was not guaranteed. That we still have a creator that that gives life and can live gives life and can take it at any time. This is what this is about. This is a sobering moment. And I'll be honest, I'm led to understand that's gonna be much more shaking and awakening and sobering moments to happen in the very near future. I was supposed to do a video reflecting on how remorseful I was about how I parented my my daughters. Just much like Kobe, I saw the gifts in my daughters and I pushed them. Because the world teaches this to, to go out there and use your gifts to make money, to live, that we're to do this, that we were to rely on our own needs and not rely on our Heavenly Father to supply our needs. When that does not, that's not a reflection of scripture at all. He said he'll provide our needs according to his riches and glory. This is what he said. And so as I say this, I keep on reflecting on how remorseful and how sad people are of the loss of the life of Kobe Bryant. And my thinking is this, do we even know where Kobe is right now? Where his soul rests right now? Is his soul at rest right now? Do we know? We somehow have come into the idea that death equals heaven. That is not true. And that no matter how we live, as long as we die, we go to heaven. That is not true. There is a hell. And the Bible, I keep thinking of the scripture, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth to righteousness and few there be that find it. With all the lives that have been lost lately, and I'm focusing right, right now specifically on Colby and his, his loved ones and his associates right now, can we guarantee and know where he is, where his soul is? Did I, I can't say he didn't have a relationship with God. I don't know this. That wasn't exemplified in what we saw in the media. But I can't speak to that. I can't at this point it's, it's we can't pray about that. But we can pray about those who are alive or well and well and able to repent and change our ways. I had so much regret about how I raised my daughters because I'm the one I look at them now as young ladies, young young adults and or or young women. And I see myself. I see the stuff that I was doing. I see them doing it. I, I, whatever I was doing, I did it well because I see them. I see me in them. So all I can do now is pray. And I'm asking that um, that you join me in this, that you join me in prayer and, rep and, and uh, seeking our Heavenly Father's mercy in this time of great loss. There's a heaviness, a heaviness on the globe right now with all the loss that's been going on. And I'll tell you, the spirit of death has been released. Lives have been lost in large numbers and it's not stopping. This is scripture. This is judgment. And it, it's sad. And I have my moment of like, I was shocked at first. You know, we go through, there's a sequence of events or feelings we go through when we go through loss, when we hear um, something tragic has happened. But I know a lot of people are feeling it right now. 
So my heart goes out to all, my prayers go out to all who are alive and have t been touched, especially the ones who have been touched cl like close in any way related to loss of a life of loved ones. And that this, that, that no life was lost for nothing. That people have a chance to reflect on life, on how delicate life is and how it's not a guarantee. Our Heavenly Father said he wishes for none to perish, but for all to have everlasting life. This is my prayer right now. Anyway, I want to let you know that I love you. I've been thinking about all of you. Our Heavenly Father loves you. You are made marvelous. He specifically made you not only unique, but also for this specific unique time. All right, so for those of you who do pray and are awake, I encourage you to pray for our, our loved ones, our family members, our carnal-minded, fallen away loved ones, but also those who are like generations gone back who've been serving other gods. That's a whole other video I could touch on, but whatever, okay. All right, until next time, be blessed.